Hi guys, Hi. I'm Maria. Th Whoops, I didn't. Okay, it started. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Maria Athena. And I'm Michelle, our sister. And we have been going on a rant for about two hours now, and we are like right in the heat of the debate, which it's not even a debate. It's, it's kind just of a like. Mutual agreement, so. Mutual agreement, just of absurd conversation of philosophical reasoning and insanity and madness and, and psychology and so mainly what we want to talk about right now is madness we just went to the bookstore and there was this book there that i have been like waiting to get for the past couple weeks which it's um madness the invention of an idea by Foucault. i also got a second book from him which is this one madness and civilization that i am totally obsessed with madness and what it means to be mad and how the normal people in society try to control madness and try to control people that are deemed to be mad. And I mean madness... Not in the necessarily, I would say, mental illness side, but rather just madness what and the ability madness? to see farther than what is conceptually visible in the perspective. And I would also say madness like someone that totally goes against everything that's seen to be completely normal and rational in a certain society or in a certain culture. And how that's absolutely genius of them doing that, but it's viewed as madness because of the reality and the perspective of the people who are in that same situation, which I think is like kind of interesting seeing because they are revolutionaries before their time. Their ideas are so out there, radical, like usually like radical. I would even say we didn't actually talk about certain like instances in history that had to do with madness during our entire conversation. What we were talking about was mainly more like, you know. Who has the right to call someone mad and insane? And Because what is normal? Normal is different for every human being. So one, what does it mean to be normal? And two, how can you measure insanity unless you've yourself been insane? I would say that like there's a certain level of insanity in just following the masses and not having some intense individuality. I don't know if intense is the right word there, but some maddening part of your individuality that separates you from the mass. I would feel that it would be more insane to be normal. Who is the insane one? The one who is in your world viewed as insane or somebody who is insane viewing the other people who don't have that insight and awareness. Are they the insane person? But that is looking at the perspective of viewing yourself from the people, from the society and fitting in there. But if you're recognizing yourself as those geniuses, the insanity of being so brilliant that it's hard to vocalize, explain and articulate, who is the one who is insane? Is it the ones who aren't on your level of comprehension and understanding? It's such an interesting topic exploring insanity because when you bring it down to the bare essence, it's like your reality and your perspective is the only thing that you have to offer. So again, it brings up the whole question of what is normal, what is real, and reality is different for every person. As Maria Hornbacker points out in her memoir, Madness of Bipolar Life, and directly quoting here, Reality is what you see, and when what you see shifts, departing from anybody else's reality, it's still reality to you. And I think it's interesting bringing that insight and awareness again to asking the question, who is to label insanity? Who can label madness? And where does that question end? So hopefully this didn't sound like too much insanity for you guys. <laughs> I know it was kind of all over the place, but this is basically how, what we've been doing the past two hours. Yeah, so we figured we should get something out of it. We would love to hear you guys' um thoughts on madness and on social control um and you know sorry that we didn't really explain half the terms that we talked about in this video but, but we hope you were able to follow it and get some insightful thoughts or even just listen to us rant about insanity so yep then we will see you guys soon yep okay bye, bye.